He's considered to be one of the best airbrush artists in the country, and he lives right here in Kelloland. Mickey Harris of Meadow has painted some of the most patriotic scenes honoring veterans from all wars. But as you're about to see in tonight's Eye on Kelloland, he doesn't always use a typical canvas board for his masterpieces. In a tiny garage in a back alley in the small town of Meadow, South Dakota, Mickey Harris arms himself with an airbrush and paint. He's been painting professionally for 43 years. Yeah, I started at 19 in Florida on the beaches there painting t-shirts, believe it or not. And we, but that's a summer job, so you, when summer runs out, so does your income. So I had to start thinking kind of quick on my feet, and I decided, well, vans were pretty popular back then. That was 1977, so they were still pretty hot. So I went down to the Dodge dealership and talked the guy into letting me paint a van. I got $500. And that was when Harris knew he could do more, a lot more. Harris began painting cars, trucks, even motorcycles, and most of them have a military theme. I grew up as a military brat. My father was a fighter pilot, so I've always had a strong connection. Harris has painted several pictures for the United States Pentagon as part of the Pentagon Arts Program, like this one of the Tuskegee Airmen who were the first black military aviators in the U.S. Army Air Corps. Harris says all of the detailed paintings tell a story. Some of the ones that I've done for the Pentagon were specific uh, particular missions and that sort of thing. So when you do paintings for the Pentagon, you got to be very accurate. So you do a lot of research. Everything's got to be like it was because I can guarantee you one of them guys that knows it He's going to call you out on it if not. Two, three. Some of Harris's paintings include this custom Harley Davidson motorcycle that was a special tribute to the USS South Dakota submarine. He also painted this old Thunderbird as a tribute to those who have received the Congressional Medal of Honor and even had some of them sign it. The car was auctioned off to raise money for several military organizations. It's just wonderful to tell a story. And when you show it somewhere on a show and people are looking at it and you see some big burly biker who is maybe an ex-Vietnam guy walking around and he looks at a particular scene that strikes him and it brings back these memories and you can see it in his face and you know maybe he'll tear up a little or something and when you start seeing that your artwork is actually touching people's souls a little bit that's a pretty good reward right there. Although he's only lived here for eight years, Harris has left his mark on the small town in a big way, from murals to signs to even this fire truck. This truck was actually at ground zero when the towers went down. When Harris discovered Menno got the fire truck from a New York City fire department, he immediately knew he wanted to paint it. He painted the mural on the side or on both sides of the, the hood and then on the top, he did the, the dedication to him. Today, in these times of uncertainty, you can't always predict the future. But for Harris, he says you can always paint a better picture for tomorrow because it's right there but at your fingertips. Now, the airbrush has been the tool. It's what allowed me to do what I love to do. You know, today, 43 years later, I get up every morning and I feel like I go, oh, I get to paint today. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful, wonderful life that I've been given and a gift, and I'm very thankful. Man has talent, that is for sure. To learn more about Harris's paintings and how to buy some of his prints online, we have posted a link to his website under this story at Kelloland.com.